Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing tests for divisibility for the numbers 2, 3, 4 and 5. First, let us know what is test for divisibility. So, if we are confronted with a situation where we have a larger number, let's say 3 digit or 4 digit or 5 digit or even a larger, any larger number and we are supposed to find out whether the given number is divisible by either of these numbers in the fastest possible way instead of dividing the actually trying to divide the entire number if there is a test or a, there is a way to find out whether the given number is exactly divisible by either of these numbers that is called the test for divisibility so basically it helps us save time to know whether the given number is exactly divisible by either of these numbers in this video, I will be discussing the test for divisibility for 2, 3, 4 and 5. In another video, I will be discussing the test for divisibility for 6, 8, 9 and then 11 also. Okay, so in, let, in this video, let's focus on these four numbers. Let's start with the first one, test for 2. That is test for divisibility for 2. So, Test for 2 is the easiest, one of the easiest ones. Any even number, okay, any given even number is exactly divisible by 2. Why? Because if we write down the table of 2, we know that each and every even number is a multiple of 2, right? So all even numbers will be divisible by 2 for sure. So that is what is written for the test for 2. So it is any number having the digits 2 or 4 or 6 or 8 or 0 in its units place will be divisible by 2 okay this is the easiest one just check the units place digit okay units place is the first digit on the right in any given integer it is also called as ones place or units place so check that digit if it is either of these uh, five digits 2 4 6 8 or 0 then we can certainly say that the given number is divisible by 2 Okay, I'll take examples after explaining all these tests and that you'll come to know better. Now move, let's move to the test for divisibility for 3. In this test, what we it's a little difference. Okay, so the test for 2 cannot be applied for 3, for any other digit rather. So for the for digit 3, the test is like this. If we check the multiples of 3, if we write down the table of 3, you can find a common phenomenon across all numbers. If you add up the digits in all in the multiples of 3, the addition itself is a multiple of 3. You can check it out uh, right now. Let's say a number 36. 36 is a multiple of 3 because 12 times 3 is 36 and in the number 36 the digits 3 plus 6 add up to 9 and 9 itself is a multiple of 3. So this is the test for divisibility for 3. The, it says if the sum of all the digits in a given number is a multiple of 3. Okay, the sum, the sum of all digits in a given number is a multiple of 3, then the given number is certainly divisible by 3. This is the test for divisibility for 3. So if you have a 4 digit, 5 digit or even a 10 digit number, all you have to do is add up all the digits in that number and if that addition sum is a multiple of 3, then the entire number will certainly be divisible by 3. Okay, so let's move to the next one, test for 4, divisibility by 4. In this, it is a little different than the previous two tests. Um, now, 4 itself is an even number, so for sure, it's all its multiples will be even, but all even numbers will not be divisible by 4, because if you write down the table of 4, we know that every alternate even number is a multiple of 4. So some of the even numbers uh, are not multiples of 4. So this test is a little different. If what we need to do is if we have a larger number, 3 digit or more in that number, then we have to take the last 2 digits of that number. 
okay last two digits that is a tens place and the units place digits that two digit number formed so if the two digit number formed by the last two digits of a larger number larger number means any number having three or more digits okay so if the two digit number formed by the last two digits of a larger number is a multiple of four so all we need to do is check whether the two digit number formed by the last two digits if that number is a multiple of four then the entire number will be divisible by four now let's move to test for divisibility of five this is probably easier than the test for two in this we uh, if we see the multiples of five the table of five then we see that all numbers have either the digit five or zero in their units place if you write down the table of five it goes like five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty and so on okay so all multiples of five have either the digit zero or five in the units place so that is what is the test for five if the units place of uh, units place digit of any given number is either zero or five then the entire number is certainly divisible by five this is the test for divisibility of five now let's look at a few examples i've written down four numbers here now we'll be finding out which of these numbers are divisible by either two or three or four or five the first number 690 let's apply the test for 2 let's apply the test for 2 quickly for all these numbers okay now we have the units place digit as 0 that means this is an even number so 2 is certainly a factor of this number that is this number is divisible by 2 in 195 the units place digit is 5 it is not an even number so 2 won't be a factor of this number in case of 3240 again it's a zero in the units place so this number will be divisible by 2 for sure and in this last number again we have a 4 which is an even number in the units place so it will be divisible by 2 now let's check for 3 for all numbers now in this number the test for 3 is addition of all digits of the number so 6 plus 9 is 15 15 plus 0 is 15 and is 15 a multiple of 3 yes 15 is a multiple of 3 therefore this entire number will certainly be divisible by 3 okay so i'll write down a 3 here in case of 195 let's do the same thing let's add up all the digits 1 plus 9 is 10 Ten plus five is fifteen again, so it's a multiple of three for sure. So this number will be divisible by three for sure. Next number is three two four zero. Three plus two is five. Five plus four is nine. Nine plus zero is nine, and nine entire number nine is certainly a multiple of three. Therefore, this will be divisible by three for sure. Okay, and for the last number one four six four, let's add up all digits. One plus four is five. Five plus six is eleven. Eleven plus four is fifteen. Therefore, this number again is a multiple of three. It will be divisible by three for sure. Okay, now let's apply the test for four for all these numbers. In six ninety, for test for four says we have to check the last two digits, uh, num two digit number formed by the last two digit. That is this ninety. now this 90 whether it is a multiple of 4 or not we can quickly find out 4 multiples of 4 will go like 4 then 10 times 4 is 40 so double of 40 is 80 80 will be multiple of 4 then we have reached close to 90 so after 80 84 and 88 will be multiples of 4 so 90 won't be a multiple of 4 after 88 the next multiple will be 92 Okay, so 90 is not a multiple of 4. Therefore, this 690 will not be divisible by 4. Let's move to 195. This not being an even number, so it's certainly not a multiple of 4. In case of 3240, the last uh, the two-digit number formed by the last two digits is 40. This is a multiple of 4 for sure. Therefore, this entire number will be divisible by 4. in this number also the two digit number formed by the last two digits is 64 64 16 4 is 64 so 64 being a multiple of 4 this entire number will be divisible by 4 okay 
now let's apply the test for 5 quickly to all these numbers we have to just check the units place digit this one has 0 in its units place therefore this will be divisible by 5 this one has 5 in the units place therefore this one will also be divisible by 5 this one has 0 in its units place therefore this one also will be divisible by 5 and this one does not have 0 or 5 in its units place therefore this number will not be divisible by 5 so with these examples and this explanation i hope the concept of test for divisibility for either 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 is now clear with everyone